hello chorus how are you yes we're gonna continue on our topic about showing respect to god we've talked about showing respect to god through praying showing respect to god through worship through listening and today we'll be talking about showing respect to god through our words the way we speak the way we talk how do we show respect to God? But before we continue, we're going to read 1 Samuel chapter 24 and we'll read from 1 to 22. I want to say to you, after this video, I want you to read that so that you can have a better understanding. But I will be picking one or two verses there just to have, let you know how the story went. In those days, in 1 Samuel, we have two kings, King Saul and David will be the future king. But now it's actually King Saul that he is the present king. But King Saul do not like David. He was his favorite, he loves him. But the moment he realized everybody in the country likes him more, they love him more, he feel threatened. And he feel like, you know, he's being oppressed. For, for that reason, he just want to kill David. He just want to, you know, find a way to kill him. And obviously, David is afraid of that and he's running and all that. But this day, King Saul go into, they call it a cliff, to go and use toilet. As he was there, he was using toilet. And people call David, they said, David, come on, look at that guy. He's using the toilet. This is your opportunity to kill him. He's trying to kill you. And David was like, okay, let me go there. But when David got there, because he loves God, and he respects God, and he just said, I'm not going to kill him. And he cut part of his cloth and he went back. So the king saw, finish using the toilet and he went out of the cliff and just going on his way and David ran out and said hello hello so hello King so my lord he said is that you David yes yeah, me David you see today I would have killed you but I love I can't kill you you know people have been telling you how would you believe them that they're gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you and he says, this is the pieces of your cloth that I caught. And Saul was shocked that he's so close to him that it's so easy for David to kill him. But he said one thing to Saul. And so we're going to pick in that 1 Samuel 24, chapter, chapter 24, verse 9. And ten, and this is what what David said. He said, "He said to Saul, Why do you listen when men say David is bent on harming you?'" The verse ten says, "This day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord deliver you into my hands in the clay. Some urge me to kill you." But I spared you. I said, I will not lay my hands on my Lord because he is the Lord's anointed. Isn't that great? Look at that. He see his enemy, but he chose to spare his life. He used a kind word. So I want you to hold on to that. And the reason he said that, he could have just, you know, do whatever people want him to do. But he is a kind man and he used his word. So we're going to be looking at another verse. Ephesians 4.25 and says, So you must stop lying. You must stop telling lies. Tell each other the truth because we all belong to each other in the same body. And that body is God. We should stop telling lies. When we tell lies with our mouth, with our words, we hurt God. We don't make God happy. And we could put others into trouble so as ourselves. 
So God is saying to us, we should not tell lies. And that Ephesians again, chapter 4, verse 29 says, when you talk, when you talk, do not say harmful things. When you talk, do not say harmful things. Don't say mean things when you talk. You are hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. God is not happy. The person is made in the image of God. The person is beautiful. And I read, he said, but say what people need. Words that will help others become stronger. The words that will make them become stronger. You are beautiful. I like you. You are good. That words make them feel stronger. When we say mean words and we use names, using F words and all that, it makes God sad. Because God looked into our hearts. And because He looked into our hearts, He can see that those words is hard to others. And if you're truly a child of God, we shouldn't be saying such a bad words. I will tell you one thing. If you really like somebody, would you say a bad word to them? Would you call them by names? I mean, mean names, like using F word, you're ugly, you're not nice. Would you say such words to them? No, you will say kind words to them if you like them. You don't want them to get hurt. And that is what God is telling us. And when we do that, we disrespect God. When we say bad things to people, to our friends, our siblings, our parents, it simply means we disrespect God. And how can we show God that we respect Him? It's true kindness words. Be kind with your words. Talk to people in a respectful way, in the way that will make you happy, make them happy, and God be proud of you. And I have a question for you. Why do God care about what comes out of our mouth? Why do you think God cares so much about what comes out of our, our mouth? Because it comes from our heart. And God lives there. And God doesn't want anything that is not pure there. So when God sees that heart and it's not pure, it makes God sad. So I want to say to you today, let good words stay in that heart. And I want to ask you again another question. Do you know how to use your words to love God? How? I'm sorry. Do you know how to use your words to love God? How do you use your love to love God? It's by saying, God is beautiful, by even loving yourself. I'm beautiful, I'm wonderfully made. You know, you don't see other people and think, you know, they are not good enough. And use your mouth to destroy them by saying bad words, which I've mentioned earlier. So today we're going to pray. But before we pray, we're going to do our memory verse. And that will be taken from Psalm 19, verse 14. Your two hands up. We look into the sky. Just look, pretend. You might be inside watching this. Obviously, your TV is inside. Just pretend and just say, Lord, I want to make you happy. I want the word of my mouth, the thought of my heart, to please you. You are my strong rock. You are my redeemer. Can we say that again? Psalm 19, verse 14. Lord, I want to make you happy. I want the words of my mouth and my thought to please you. You are my strong rock. And, your, and you are my redeemer. We're going to take that again. Lord, I want to make you happy. 
I want my words and the thought of my heart to please you. You are my strong rock and you are my redeemer. That's it. And we're going to pray. As we pray, we're going to enjoy Clive and Ian's. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We pray that we continue to show respect through our words. We'll be able to speak kind words to others. We'll be able to show them love and say good things to them. And God, we want you to help us to be able to see go to see people how you have created them. Help us, O oh Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good day, world. This is Buck Denver, back again to take another look at respect. We can show God respect by praying to him, praising him, and listening to his word. Are there any other ways to show God respect? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? What's that? Oh, you think we should go back up to the Wonder Blimp one more time, eh? <laughs> well, let's give it a go. Climb it in. Can you hear me? When you've got a question and you need more information You can find the answer with a little education You can take out student loans and put yourself in college Or raise your hand and join us in our Wonder Blimp of Knowledge Claude and Ian's Wonder Blimp of Knowledge Claude and Ian's Wonder Blimp of Knowledge What about a really kicking stereo system With giant speakers you can hear for miles And we can play music and have dance parties In our blimp? Dance parties in our blip? With who? You, me, and monkey? You know, I can cut a rug with the best of them. Oh, I know you can, monkey. We don't need a stereo in the Wonder Blimp. We're on very important missions. Why, man, Ian? Can you hear me? Speaking of which, here's one now. It's that Buck Denver again. Hello? Anyone there? What, are you having a dance party or something? No, no dance parties on the Blimp, Buck. We're right here. What's the trouble? Well, the kids and I were wondering. We've talked about some great ways to show respect for God. Yes, we have. We've talked about praying to him. And praising him and listening to what he says in his word right that too yep those are all good ways so what else do you want to know well are there any other ways what like three aren't enough well uh, we were just wondering if maybe there was you know another one let's see we've just talked about listening to god's words hmm what about our own words what about them? Can we show God respect through our own words? I don't know. Can we? Tell you what. I think Sunday School Lady can answer that for us. Hang on, Buck. We'll be right back. Okay. I'll just stay here then. Monkey, Sunday School Lady. Yes, I know the way. God is great and God is good. Wouldn't it be great to show respect to him? It would. We can show respect to God through our words. Hello, is anybody there? Hi, Sunday school lady. It's us again. Us who? Clive and Ian. And Monkey. Oh, hello, boys. How's the blimp? Still lighter than air. Doesn't have a kicking stereo, though. Oh, that's too bad. No dance parties, I guess. Can we stay on subject? Sorry. What's up? We're wondering if it's possible to show respect to God through our own words. Sure we can. For example, we should never use God's name disrespectfully. He's the creator of the universe. We should treat his name with respect. Oh, that makes sense. We should talk about God and use his name respectfully. Got it. But we also show respect for God in the way we talk to others. What you mean? Well, do you ever call people mean names or put people down? Do you interrupt your friends when they have something to say because you want to say something? Oh, well, maybe once in a while. When we ignore the way God wants us to use our words and instead use them to hurt others, we aren't respecting God or the people we're with. 
So using our words respectfully with our friends and our families is another way of showing respect for God. It sure is. I think I can do a better job of that. I think we all can. Oh, looks like we're out of time. Thanks for your help, Sunday school lady. You're welcome, Clive and Ian. Don't forget to use your words respectfully. Did you get all that, Buck? Fantastic, Clive and Ian. We show respect for God in the way we use our words, by using God's name respectfully and talking about others and with others kindly and respectfully. It's the least we can do for such an amazing God, respecting God by praying to him, praising him, listening to his words, and using our words kindly. Four great ways to show our respect for God, the creator of the universe. Ah, uh, yes, respect. The best way to get spaghetti sauce out of the carpet. What? It isn't? Well, how do you know? Have you ever tried? All right, never mind. Respect is a really good thing. See you next time. Cloyd and Ian's wonder blip of knowledge. Cloyd and Ian's wonder blip of knowledge.